Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Magic Duels. So, uh, if I have my dates correct, this video will be going up the day after or during the middle. I think it's in the middle of the Battle for Zendikar pre release weekend. So, it's actually earlier this week that I'm recording it. I've been playing a lot of Magic Duels while I do other things, while videos render, while I wait for things to download because my connection is awful, while I wait for things to upload because my connection's awful. Um, you know, all sorts of different things. Um, I've been playing with some of the Zendikar cards, some of them are alright. Not a huge fan of the set overall, but there's some things I like in it. Um, but it's not out on Magic Duels yet. But I have been playing a lot, I have enough coins to buy two packs. On the one hand, I want to hold these to get Battle for Zendikar packs. On the other, I want to just buy two Magic Origins packs. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to buy two more packs of Origins. These are probably going to be the last packs of Origins we end up opening. Barring, I don't know, Zendikar being absolute garbage. Because I've heard that not all the cards from the set make it into this game. We've got a Will Breaker, so... That's a thing. That's actually kind of good, actually, like, really good, because our Twin Bolts become double mind controls. We don't have Wild Size anymore, but we have other options. I might, I'm probably going to put the Will Breaker in the deck. Alright, Leader Walker? No, we got a Grave Blade Marauder. He's okay. Not a huge fan of him. Um, everything else in this pack's pretty trash. So let's put the Will Breaker in. Do a little bit of deck editing here. Um, and yeah, I think the rest of our coins are basically all going to go towards Battle of Zendikar for a while. I would like to have gotten the Lily, but winners can't be or beggars can't be choosers. Is that what the saying is? Uh, I'm just looking at those stars down there. Okay. So, we want to be playing our, our, maybe our tutelage even. Like, tutelage is pretty good. I don't like the abbot. I'm, I'm cutting the abbot. I tried him, not a huge fan of him. Um, we'll try tutelage. It's not going to hurt. Uh, we want to play our... Rule Breaker. Spell or ability you control so our Frost Lynxes will actually take things. Our Traitor's Instinct becomes permanent. I'm not a huge fan of Traitor's Instinct though. Especially if we've got the Will Breaker to do that effect permanently. I might just want like another Frost Lynx. <gasps> Merc Lurker can permanently steal things. Giant can permanently steal things. Mm. I like Twin Blade as some or Twin Bolt as something that can steal two things. I'm thinking about cutting this Traitor's Instinct here. Which means we're our red is basically just going to be for Twin Bolt. Um, Titan Strength could be a thing. I might put more Twin Bolt in. I might try Evo Leap, maybe. I'm not a huge fan of Evo Leap and what we're working with, though. Blood Curse Knight, Blazing Hellhound. I like Blazing Hellhound. It's a 4 3 for 4. For one mana, we can sack our mirrors. And with Willbreaker, we could sack their stuff and we're done with it. And what we poke with it would actually be ours. So let's try that. Now we have one too many things, right? Did I put something else in? Alright, tutelage and... Hmm... I'm thinking of cutting the Elvish Visionary. That's how we're going to roll with this. Uh, let me cut to the end here, go up to the checks, and then we'll go down here. Let's go back a second. I want it to only show me... Ah, I can't get it. Okay. So we want all the let's let's do the land base over again. 
I'm, I'm a little better at this every time I do it, so it, it goes a little faster every time. Okay. We want a third of everything we're running. That's fine. And that's fine. And then the other one was. Okay. So that leaves us room for 10 checks. We want all the black ones. Uh, black green, black blue, black white, black red. We want all the blue ones. Blue white, blue red, blue green, blue black. Then we want white, red, red, green. Did I put a root bound crag in or not? It didn't put a root bound crag in, it just moved over. Root bound crag. And we want green, white, sun petal grove. We have two drowned catacombs, which is definitely something we want. And we probably want another woodland cemetery so that we can afford to hit our uh, our green on turn one. So this is how we're going to change the deck to. And let's go try an online duel. Uh, just really quickly, I'll show the quests. I just finished a sack no, I just finished a look at your opponent's quest. Sack, six, sack 20 more permanents, or sack 6 more permanents. I have an archetype that I'm not going to ever accomplish. Let's try not solo battle versus battle. With a matched opponent. So, I have been doing the sacrifice a permanent quest. Mostly by sacking evolving wilds. Sometimes... I can get a- I'll like use a tragic arrogance when I've already won the game just to get the sack out of it. Like I'll have like Nightfire Giant, they're at 4, I've got 12 land up. I'll tragic arrogance so they only have a 2 toughness creature, I'll tragic arrogance away like my 2 or 3 creatures and I'll use the two mana to shoot their guy and then punch them for the lethal so that I use the tragic arrogance to sack like one or two of my creatures just to get in for that little bit more towards the quest. Um, I do have a small problem with my internet connection lately. It's been very, very slow and I am trying to download Blood Bowl because it is Blood Bowl release day. And my review copy uninstalled itself so that I could download the full copy, which I imagined the review copy was the full copy, so I'm very confused as to why it happened. Um, I may have some problems getting a game here while for these five minutes the Blood Bowl is supposed to still take. In which case, I might just do a computer match to get 15 coins for the episode so we can test out see how good the Willbreaker is, since we don't really have any tutor for it. We can't really search for Willbreaker and put it into play. So if this search fails, I'm just going to go to a um, solo match. But we'll see. I should be able to get a match. There might be issues with, like, my ping, my connection and stuff, because I've, I've been having... I don't know what it is, but I've been having serious problems uploading. Oh, there we go, we're in. Okay, we're fine. And I'll upload a video on YouTube, and it used to take maybe 10, 20 minutes to upload a 20 some odd minute video, and now it's taking like three, four hours to upload a video. It's getting ridiculous. So I think there's something wrong with my connection. Uh, we're playing a rank three blue, and then it was a year. This has no land, so let's try again. And this has one land, so let's try again. This has two land and a bunch of two drops, so that's it's gonna have to do. Blue 1988 is what they're deciding to take a look at. They mold once to seven, they mold also to six. So we're both on six. I'm on the play. I'm gonna play the Hinterland Harbor in case we get a telling time. Instead of in the land, then we can telling time on turn three. 
if we get a land on turn three, we can telling time on turn three. I guess we can telling time on turn three with the woodens, regardless if we see a telling time. Just feel like I felt like blue was the better color to have down, just in case. But no luck. We're gonna have to go wooden cemetery taps. We may end up mana screwed, but so might they. They're not. Inst oh, there it is. It's entirely possible we could both be stuck on two here. And she also molded the six. She got an extra draw, and then an extra draw on top of it with this alchemist file. But I think we're gonna draw a land here, and we'll be okay. Yeah, we will. Perfect. We'll just drop a mirror down, and we'll wait. I'm really excited to like use Willbreaker with Twinbolt. Like I, I should not be that excited to use Willbreaker and Twinbolt, but I really, really want to try that and just take two guys and just take two guys and just take all the guys. All right, they've got Rex Sage, so they're gonna smash my guy. I guess I'm gonna shock their guy. We'll trade there then. So you want to use a Reclamation Sage. I feel like it's a little wienery, but maybe your hand is pretty bad, so maybe that's what you've got to do. That's going to come to play tapped, and we'll play our Perilous Mirror. We're out red because we only have one mountain for fetching. Why are you stopping the timer? Why are you stopping the timer? Don't stop the timer. That's mean. Well, I, I guess we have to wait here for our Perilous Mirror to resolve. There, it resolves. I'm done. I don't know why they stopped the timer there. They were tapped down. There's nothing they were going to be able to do. We'll see. They're green-black, so that means they're probably playing elves. Next stage is an elf, right? And there is our Sacred Vine Breeder, which exiles now from the graveyard to Giant Growth. So I'd love to see red for Twinbolt. No, nope, we're going to read it soul instead. Acceptable, but there are definitely a lot more things in the off deck I'd rather than soul. Such as Dwinin. Dwinin can land at any moment, and Reeve Soul deals with Dwinin, but Reprisal does not. Unless they play a Elvish Champion or something, but I don't think the deck has any other elf buffs outside of Dwinin. Ah, there's our X-Age, so we're gonna trade off creatures again. And Steam has finished downloading Blood Bowl too, so our connection issues should be relatively solved. As soon as they make their choice of the choice they can make. Oh, they could hit their own Alchemist file, I guess. Alright, I'm a little wary about bringing the elf game, or the elf deck into the long game. Especially with nothing to do here now. What do they got? They got a land. Gonna play two creatures? No, they got nothing. Okay. So we both time walk, but they at least made a land drop. I'm gonna play the tutelage. <clears throat> Now that he's used two Rex Ages, which are, what, uncommons? Uncommons. So he can only have one more at most. He should have one more. Uh, it's unlikely that they're going to be able to smash the tutelage for a while here. I think Conclave Naturalist is a human, isn't it? I don't think it's an elf. Discard an elf card. Creature gets minus X, raise X is zero elves. Okay. That's a really good card for the elf deck. Um, I'm gonna target you with Sphinx's Tutelage. Please discard your card. And we're we're uh, we're in. We're at five double black. We can play everything but Twin Bolt in our hand. And I think we're just gonna have to go on the Tutelage plan here because we have little recourse for any other plan. Oh, jeez, I am really glad I've got a Holy Hunter for that. Oh, 
Medical Revival. Woodland Bellower is a very good card. It's most of its value has already happened. I couldn't stop it. I run counter spells, but it's definitely happened. They went for Dwinnin's Elite, which gives them another elf, so that this is now a negative giant growth. And we're gonna take our one damage from it. Now unfortunately. I have to just time walk myself here to deal with the Woodland Bellower. So I'm going to pass the turn. I'm going to be taking like four. Hitting a list on a Huntmaster is pretty nice. Uh, yes, and we're just going to... We don't want to take the 6-5, so we're going to crew revival it. Actually, I might not Holy Hunger it. Oh, but I don't get my value out of it. I don't get my value out of a crew revival ever unless Nightfire Giants in the graveyard. So I'm a little more willing to use it first. We'll take our four damage and then we'll probably play Nightfire Giant to have something up, although I imagine they'll just kill it by discarding an elf card. Which kind of sucks. But the giant is not going to be safe. So here we can play a Great Cooper Vine instead, which gets us the red for the Twin Bolt. Which seems like something we want to do almost immediately here. And get rid of the two 1-1s. One Let's grab our mountain. We'll play it and we'll Twin Bolt. 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. So they can't kill our Gatekeeper Vine, so we will get a chump out of it, which is pretty nice, to be honest. Uh, we have six now, so we can use Tutelage to just straight up loot. So if we don't see any reason not to drop Nightfire, we're going to drop it. If we see a reason not to, we'll leave up on Holy Hunger, but if we have to, we can Tutelage. And we're just going to make that quick jump, because I don't want to... Oh, I didn't finish clicking or something. That's fine. It's two damage. It's not a big deal. Where they got to run out afterwards? Eight mana, nothing to play. That's where I want the elf deck to be, yeah. All right, uh, and I think here we actually use the gate creeper vine to grab a plains, and then play the giant. So that we have everything going. Then we got a five four giant. Uh, Winnower will kill the giant, but I feel like they would have played Winnower to... Well, I know the computer kill plays Winnower to kill Gatekeeper Vine. I don't think a human would waste a Winnower on that. That seems a little... I don't know... Wienery to just use a Winnower. They got a Bone Splinters that they'll use, though. So if we see our second crew revival, we can get the giant back, but I'm not too worried about it. I can go on this tutelage plan here, and we can just build them out. We will draw our card and tutelage them. Ooh, telling time. Now this puts one in your hand, right? Yeah, puts it in your hand. Let's do it. See if we can't make our land drop. We can. Oh, and the cool revival to get the giant back. Oh, that's nasty. Nasty. I, I think we have enough black. I'm going to grab the rebound crag. Yeah, we have more than enough black. <clears throat> um, and we're going to pass the turn. I took the Crew Revival over the land, because that way if they play something, whatever they play, I can kill with Crew Revival to get my Giant back, and I can play the Giant with the Ripbound Crag, and that will hopefully give me more than enough value to, like, really take this game. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't play anything, so I guess we're just gonna go on this plan instead. Pass the turn, and then if they still don't do anything, I can tutelage now. I didn't have six last time, so I couldn't tutelage. But if they still don't play a creature, I can tutelage. And we're gonna do that. 
And we'll pitch... Honestly, I think we pitch Archangel of Tides and get it back with Magnetic Summons here. Especially if we're going to draw a ninth land. Arrow Forest. Yeah, it means we're only on nine. Necromantic summons for Archangel of Tides seems pretty good. Archangel of Tides is very good against the elf deck because it keeps them from attacking with a ton of elves because they have to pay one for each attacking elf. So, I mean, it's not doing that now, obviously. There's Liliana, which is definitely a card. But it's not a card I'm 100% concerned about. Because I can just kill it. And if it's dead, Liliana doesn't do anything. Crew Revival is a nice way to get my giant back and deal with Lily. If we see a land, we can Crew Revival at Sorcerer Speed to play the giant. And then punch them for 5 with the angel because I don't think we need to leave it on the block anymore. I'm wondering what those four cards they're holding are. Didn't see the land. So I say we kill on her turn. Oh, do they have something? Plummet? Alchemist file. Oh, I think they've taken too long to do that though. Yeah, it's too late. It's already been declared as an attacker. Yeah, they did the Alchemist file too late. Oh no. That must make them feel very silly. And depending on what they play, I mean, if they play Fleshbag Marauder, I'm gonna need to pull Revival right away. Slash Bag Marauder even in this? I know less than the full set is in here. Uh, and if they attack, I guess I'm Coral Battling. Which, there's no reason for them not to attack, so I will. I will get my zombie back. Now they're in a pretty bad spot. Reprisal. Still not another land, so we can only play the giant and not leave Unholy Hunger out. They've, they've screwed. Okay. Well, I don't blame them. I mean, this became pretty one-sided, and it's going to be just like a slow grind here as I finish them off. It tells me that their hand doesn't have anything for this, so... Yeah, let's see another turn. Draw, mill them. We will shock them. We'll twin bolt them and them, and then we can attack to lethal with either the angel or the giant. So we'll attack with both. And that will be game. <clears throat> and there it is. Not that hard. Nice effort, Blue1988. We both were pretty screwed there at the beginning. I think I just lucked out by having all the things. Up to Season Rank 6. We didn't sack any permanents, so we didn't progress on that quest, but... Oh well. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, press the like button, share your support. It helps a whole lot. And if you want to see more from the channel, make sure you subscribe. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.